Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Lifting high, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you do a logo, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I don't know how to sing, but anyhow, don't laugh at the music or at the voice. Just take the words and God will definitely bless you. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I greet according to the time you come across this video. Please and please, if you have not subscribed, kindly and subscribe to this channel and the Lord will do us really good. And again, I want to say thank you to my whole subscriber. Please and please keep sharing and your notification bell and like the video so that the YouTube can also recommend this to others. Thank you very much and God bless you. Ah, I want to say that it has been a long journey from January up to this time. And I'm looking so quick, it's so sweet this afternoon because today is my birthday. Thank you very much for all those that have wished me birthday on my on my group. God bless and God bless everyone. I want to use this opportunity to say thank you to those that have subscribed and also so to the whatsapp group i want to say thank you your amen has been taking me to somewhere and i believe that we are going to somewhere and god will definitely take us there in jesus name amen before we begin to share the word of god let us have just a prayer father in heaven we give you thanks and we give you honor we adore you for whom you are and we give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Ah, uh, well, today we are going to say today is the word of exhortation, encouragement, to, that we take course to the year 2023, that we make us so stand strong for ourselves and also for God that have created us, that we make us to have also focus on our creator. That we make us to know that God is God and God is no man. His blessing is not belonging to anybody. His blessing belongs to him. And he, and he gives it at any time he wishes to give. And that is who he is. Praise the Lord. So today I'm going to talk about December. And the word that's uh, that from December, I think it's about eight yeah one two three four five six seven eight eight letter so and the first letter is d so what are we going to say what is d is dream i define it as dream because our dream most of us before we enter this year 2022 we pray that god almighty should see us through we want to be this we want to be that we want this desperate that maybe we could not fulfill all that but see yet a lot did not see the ending of this 20 this, um, this december a lot does not see the ending of this december but we thank god that most of us we are in it and we are going to see it for we are going to see the the ending in the mighty name of jesus that is why i define it as dream fulfilled that god has fulfilled our dream God has seen us through and God has stand for us in the mighty name of Jesus. So God is not a man to lie, whether it's a man to, to, to not stand by his word. He has all, he always stands. You know, in the book of, uh, in the book of Matthew chapter two, verse 19, he said, it's after Pharaoh, after Pharaoh died, an angel appeared to who? To, to Moses. And whenever angel appear, it was for good. So an angel has always been there for us throughout of this uh, our trouble. As I always say to people that this world is galloping. It's like a, it's not a smooth road. So the trouble we find in this world is what takes us to the next level. So we will not be afraid of, oh, why did this come to me? Why did that come to me? It come to you. It come to me so that we can get to the next level. So we are just going to thank God because God has fulfilled what our dream in the mighty name of Jesus. And the next one is, uh, is E. You know, E is that we've come to an end. We've ended it well. We end it well. God has really stand for us and we've ended it well. The Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes 7 verse 8, it says that uh, the ending matters a lot. Your beginning may be rough. 
Your beginning may be so. He said the ending, as you end, is, ma it is more better than the beginning. So we should not think of how we begin. Let's thank God for how we end it. That is what matters. Praise the Lord. And God Almighty has really stand for us and we end it well in Jesus' name. And the next one is C. What is C is consigned. God has really shown his consigned consign, consign us. He has really showed that yes, he's a father indeed. He has really showed that he's a brother indeed. He has really showed that he's a mother indeed. In all the trouble we pass through, that friend or mother or sister will not stand by you. God has stand by you. He said, God has show concern. No wonder he said it in his word. He said, when he look back, he has compassion upon the multitude that was going with him. He has compassion. Most of them, some of them were going because of food. Some we are going because of healing. So we are waiting for miracle, different kind of thing. And some of them, we are not even a believer. Some did not even trust in him. But see yet as he look back, he has compassion on them because of what? He has what? He has consigned. Praise the Lord. He's really a father in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you thanks. And the next one is E. It's E too, sorry. Is E. So, and the E, and the E is enter. We are going to enter for the year, the, the year 2023 with joy and laughter. As we enter this year with that hope and God Almighty have seen us through, Jehovah Rapha is going to see us through as we are going to enter it to the year 2023 in the mighty name of Jesus. See, one thing that we got to know that our that is why he said that the ending matter how we are going to begin does not really matter it may be rough we may not we may not have food to eat things may not be as we want it but how we end it is matter praise the lord and god has really show consigned with us that yes this year 2023 we are going to enter it with joy and laughter in the mighty name of jesus and the aim is more grace that the grace of the Lord will go with us. The grace of the Lord will go with us. The grace will show forward. His grace will speak for us. His grace will make a way for us. His grace will take us to the next level. His grace will have his grace will make a difference in our life as we enter to the year 2023 in the mighty name of Jesus. And the, the, the next letter is B is blessing. That God Almighty that giveth blessing will bless us in all we run. He said he will bless what our hand work. Whatsoever, whatsoever that we are doing, God Almighty will definitely bless us in the mighty name of Jesus. All I have to say is that please, let's keep on standing on the right path. Let's keep on doing the right thing. Let's keep on being who God wants us to do. And you will see his blessing upon your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. And the next letter is E. Empowerment. Wow. When he empower you, you will pass through any trouble, any pains, any things that people think that is not possible. But because of his empowerment, because he of empowerment upon your life, people will be shocked. Say, oh, upon all the trouble, this lady or this man is still standing. You are going to stand because God is about to empower you for this year 2023. God is about to make you, to select you out and to give you that gift of empowerment that you are unshakable in the mighty name of Jesus. So prepare your mind to enter year 2023 as a lady, as a man, as well as uh, no matter who, who or a boy, prepare to just enter year 2023. That yes, I am untouchable, I'm unshakable because God has empowered me for that in the mighty name of Jesus. And the last but not the least is rest. Hey, we are going to have the rest for this year 2023. The rest of the Lord will be upon you. That doesn't mean that you will not pass through trouble. Upon on the trouble that you will be, you see yourself resting. 
People will be shaking. Ah, this woman is passing through, but it's still, you are still, your mind is at rest. Your physical being may be so anger, but inside of you is resting. So I pray for you this minute and this hour that no matter what you come across for year 2023, the rest, the rest, the rest of the Lord will be upon you. Your mind will be settled. You will be unshakable as the Lord has said it. And so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. My dear beloved and my sister outside there, as you are about to enter this year 2023, please and please stand on yourself. God is a God that wants everyone to call him direct. Please don't go outside there and have that mind or that belief that I have to tap into somebody's blessing. Don't you ask yourself, who did that person tap in his blessing? Don't you ask yourself, how did that person get the blessing? Don't you ask yourself, how did that person get there so you can get there with direct connection with Christ? Don't use the money you want to use for your feeding or for your transport or for your children and go and be tapping into a blessing. Then at the end, you will live a life of regretting. Don't enter year 2023 with eye bland of Christianity or with eye bland of religion. Take your Bible, read it to your understanding and call God for yourself in the mighty name of Jesus. And forget about tapping in any blessing, not tapping in any blessing. The Bible says, I will bless the work of your hands. It's going to bless you direct. It's not going to bless you through anybody. And it's not going to give you grace through anybody. So don't expect it to tap anything from anything from anybody. The only person that have the, the, the only person that has the direct connection that you can just tap from is your Jehovah Rapha and Asian yeah. someday. I just want to say this is where I stop. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you and God see you there and God see you through in the mighty name of Jesus. Please and please subscribe to the channel on your notification bell. Also share the videos to other and please like. Thank you very much and God bless. It's your sister and it's your girl. Adiodu Ogemui. See you next time on my video. God bless you and happy new year in advance. Bye.